Welcome back. Welcome back. To Monarch. The, the, today. We will play as. No, we will meet. Nozomi Hinata. Okay. Perfectly fine. Just a little bruised. ever since you answered that weird phone call. I'll take Chio to the infirmary. You two go on down for now, okay? No, the word. All right. Let's get going then. Huh? We can talk about the other world later on. Yeah. What were you doing on the second floor, former student council president Hinata? Fighting skeletons. I thought I declared any areas overrun with mist off limits. I await your explanation. You there, do not interrupt me. Why? Or do you truly have no idea who I am? I don't. Then allow me to debrief you. After the mist, barrier, and other anomalies appeared, the last student council tried to dispel the chaos with the faculty. And yet, said chaos has only increased. It was then that a savior appeared to quell the unrest, rallying the students with his overwhelming charisma. That savior is none other than I. President, President Kurama Hitotsubashi. Hinata was relieved of her duties, oh. and at the behest of all, I took on the mantle of student council president. So, what say you, Hinata? How does it feel to see how much more capable I am in comparison? It's true. I was inadequate for the demands of the office. I commend you on acknowledging your inferiority. Now, why did you enter the mist? Well... He collapsed within the mist, so you ventured in to save him. And this was with Dr. Kakeru Hasegawa and Chio Aikawa? Yes. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So you placed both the Academy's doctor and a middle school student in peril. Your foolishness astounds me. Oh my god. You should have come to me. As your student council president, I would have rescued him in a no, safer no. manner. <laughs> you may no longer hold the position yourself, but you still set a poor example by behaving this way. I believe some discipline is in order. What say the rest of you? Uh, no. Agreed. Agreed. Oh. <laughs> Disagree. Pardon the interruption. D 
Dean. But would you mind if I borrowed this young man and Miss Hinata? We have urgent matters to discuss. Well, well. If it isn't Ms. Sora Jingu, our beloved Dean. Yes, that is my name. Is something the matter? You! Did I not warn you about interrupting me? Warn me again. Dean warn Jingu, me again. We must consider impeaching Hinata for violating Academy regulations. Impeaching? Of course, it truly breaks my heart to punish one of my peers, but order must be maintained in our academy. Hmm. No further action will be required at this time, Mr. Hitotsubashi. Thanks to you, of course. And not just for me. The rest of the faculty and student body are all very grateful to you. I'd hate to see you suffer from the guilt of punishing your peers, even if it was done out of responsibility. Surely it'd be fine to let it go this once. <laughs> As you wish, I'll leave it at that. We yeah. wouldn't want my judgment clouded by grief, after all. Come along, everyone. To the student council room. Yes, yes, sir. Remember, Hinata, there won't be a next time. Well, that takes care of the rank and file. Why don't we have a chat in that empty classroom? Yeah. Why don't we? I see. So you were dragged into the other world after answering a phone call in the mist. Hmm. There's just one thing I need to know. How exactly did you... How did they flee the other world and make it back to here? Is yeah. that the question you seek to ask, a oh woeful overseer? Yeah. Benitas? A demon? You no. again. A monarch? How did you get into this academy? I am the answer for which you strive, Vanitas, the being who helped them survive. Hello, Vanitas. Helping? Hmm. So that's how it is. Did you make a pact with a demon in exchange for power? An authority, huh. so to speak. No, no. Oh, no. And what did you wish for? Power. He and three others were dragged to the depths. He drove back the legions to fend off their deaths. I see. You're a kind person at heart, it seems. I sense that someone managed to return for being drawn into the other world, but this, I never imagined. To think a new pact bearer would emerge as a result. If I may ask, what sort of authority did you receive? Uh, I have no idea. The authority of vanity? I've never heard of that. Perhaps it's an aberration of some sort. You're surprisingly knowledgeable about all this demon and otherworld stuff, Miss Sora. That I am. But extenuating circumstances prevented me from talking about them before. 
These secrets are normally reserved for the head of the Jingu family, as is the position of Academy Dean. However, seeing as you already know, there's no point in hiding things any further. I'll answer any questions you have. There are seven demons known as monarchs, one for each sin. As progenitors of lesser demons, they are of the highest order. If they make a pact with someone, they are then able to provide their pact bearer with an authority. In order to make a pact, one must have a cause, a strong ego, the ability to perceive the other world, and a wish. But vanity is an aberration. It isn't one of the deadly sins. Your pact with that monarch was incidental at best. Demons are supernatural beings that live in the other world. They feed off the egos of humans. There is a metaphysical plane that exists separately from the physical world, ascertainable only via cognition alone. That is the realm you visited, the other world. Consider a far-fetched goal, curing an incurable illness, for example. Reality can't be changed no matter how hard you wish. But if someone learned that the power to overturn reality existed, would they be able to resist temptation? Even if such power came from demons and gave rise to widespread distortions, the natural order. Continued usage of them will cause our world to distort. The mist, the barrier around the academy, the calls from the other world, all are byproducts of a pact bearer's authority. Oh. So please, unless the situation demands it, I ask that you avoid using your authority on campus. The Jingu family has maintained balance in the world ever since the Academy's founder discovered the existence of demons. We've attempted to prevent the emergence of new Pact Bearers at any cost. And yet they've appeared regardless. We are currently aware of at least seven others. Voiding their Pacts is the only way to put a stop to these anomalies and restore normality. Might I ask you to use your powers for the welfare of our academy? No. I believe a pact bearer of your circumstances would be perfect for this task. Oh, well, no. Please, bear with me. Your compliance would be appreciated. No. I refuse. You're the only pact bearer I can ask this of. Oh you don't have to like it, but no is not an option. Please, Why? bear with me. Oh Your compliance God. would be appreciated. Fine. I'll do it, but I won't like it. You have my thanks. Then, would you prefer a detailed explanation on how to void the packs, or will the gist of things suffice? I don't know. When a demon makes a pact with a human, three crystals known as ideals form in the other world. These are the source of a pact bearer's power. Once shattered, their pact will be voided. The mist in the academy is a side effect of a pact bearer's authority. As such, it too is connected to the ideals. In the mist, you'll receive calls that will take you to the other world. There, you'll find the ideals. In short, just walk around the academy grounds and smash those ideals wherever they're found. Though it pains me to ask this of a student, 
The fate of our academy is in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Mr. Vinitas, I would appreciate if you concealed yourself around any students who are unaware of the situation. Your appearance would cause a great deal of panic, to put things lightly. I'm here for the boy, so don't worry your head. My only concern is what road he will tread. I'll take that to mean you intend to behave. These are reference materials about demons, packed bears, and the other world. Give them a read when you get the chance. Um. I'll be taking my leave now. Horde, you earn some spirits as a reward. You can use them to upgrade your power's effects or for items to use in your other world treks. Speak to me should you ever seek to spend your spirits. never ends, does it? No. Oh, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. Yeah. My name is Nozomi Hinata. I'm a third year here at the Academy. Nice to properly meet you. Yeah. Thank you for your help in the other world. You're the reason we were able to make it back safely. Can I go now? through the mist and fight the pact bearers would you mind if i came along sure i can't fight like you do but i might be able to help in some other way i just don't want you to carry this burden all on your own sure thank you the mist is spreading upward through the second floor of the building to the infirmary first. We should explain things to Chio and Dr. Kakeru.
Nos ha unido nada. Es una amiga compañera. things over with these two. I'm sorry. It's all my fault for answering that call. It's mm -hmm. Chio, I've decided I'm going to help your brother out. I want to do whatever I can. Thanks, Nozomi. I'll feel better knowing you're with him. Of course. And, uh, maybe there's something you can do too, Chio. I'm sure the newspaper club's ace reporter would be a great help in gathering intel. Oh, I never thought of it that way. Okay, sure. I'll give it my all. Don't forget about your pal, the school doctor. You ever feel sick or hurt? Come pay me a visit. Thank you, everyone. I'll support you to the best of my ability. I'm counting on all of you to work as a team. A team? Hmm. Yeah, okay. It's almost like we're in a club then. Maybe we should come up with a name. Nah. Sure. Why not? Sounds I'm fun. Down well, since Nozomi's the group? How about the True Student Council? <laughs> what? That way, you'll get to be president again. Perfect. Means I can keep calling her press. Makes things easier for me. Dr. Kakeru, would you please shut your mouth? <laughs> A fitting name, if you ask me. My brother can be the vice president then. It's not like there are any other candidates. Uh -huh. Vice pres, huh? Easy enough for me. You've got my vote. You just don't want to bother remembering anyone's names. It's settled then. You are hereby instated as president and vice president of the TSC. You have my approval as dean. Council was taken over by Mr. Hitotsubashi and his entourage. Many students wish you were still in charge. It isn't just Miss Aikawa and me. The other students believe in you as well, Miss Hinata. Very well. I accept the position. Let's put our best foot forward, Vice President. <laughs> Glad to see you're taking to it. Now then. I have other matters to attend to, so I'll be on my way. Sure. Okay then. Seeing as you two are already here, how's about I go ahead and get you checked up? No way. All right. That about covers it. Not much I can do about your amnesia, though, Vice Prez. 
All we can do is hope it's only temporary. Anyway, you're welcome to stop by any time. You got any health issues, I'm your man. You hear? Yeah. You seem just fine to me. Running low, I take it? Come again if anything happens. It's time. The student council meeting is about to start. Off to the student council room. You can't dead. So long as you follow my lead, your security is assured. Is that Karama's voice? It's coming from the student council room. We are living in unprecedented times. I speak not only of the barrier around the academy, nor the madness-inducing mist. Homicidal maniacs, epidemics, spontaneous combustion, further outlandish incidents plague the other buildings. I know you are all concerned about this inscrutable, hopeless situation, but worry not. So long as you remain here, so long as you follow me, Kurama Hitotsubashi, you shall all be safe. This I swear on my life. I ask for your continued support. Heed my words. Let us band together. We will make it out alive. Hooray for President Hitotsubashi! Hooray! Hitotsubashi! 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 We sure are fired up in there. It's kind of scary, actually. Kurama's planning on locking this building down. True. It might be safer in here. But it won't solve anything. It's just ignoring the actual problem. I'm not so sure it's the right call to make. Anyway, why don't we check upstairs before one of his student council lackeys gets in our way? That's my idea. Good day, Vice President of the True Student Council. Or, you. or perhaps nice to meet you would be more appropriate. Sora tells me you've lost your memories. I am Yugo Jingu, the steward of this academy. The Dean, Sora Jingu, is my wife. If you encounter any trouble whatsoever, please do not hesitate to let me know. In any case, may fortune smile upon you in battle.
The Jingus have watched over this academy for decades. Though if you ask me, the fact that Miss Sora still looks so young is almost demonic in itself. What's her secret? A good lotion. Shall we get started? Person talking to the cleaning supply locker over there? Hey, Miu. What'd you get on the English test? It's not fair if I'm the only one who failed again. She's what we call unsettled. There are others like her running around in the mist. The mist messes with their heads, so there's no way to know how they'll behave. We need to keep going, but be careful, okay? If you get in my way, I'll make you regret it. Oh, really? Let's just head back for now, Vice President. We have no idea what she's capable of right now. I have to wonder what this promise of hers is, though. What would you ever do without me? Good morning. Nice weather today, huh? on your own she's no meal <laughs> Vanitas? I thought you weren't supposed to appear around other students it's fine where mist is to be had the students here have all gone mad. I'll watch from here, but don't feel strained. Just try to keep me entertained. How? Do I do? 
Cuando es Doom. What? What are you talking about? Oh my god. I get it. The mist has sent you both off the rails, hasn't it? Don't talk to me, you unsettled freaks. Huh. Sounds like she thinks that locker is Miu. I wonder where the real Miu is. It's not. It's almost time for class. I am you. Where's me? The way, the way to the way to the way to the Yo. Yo. Prez. Vice Prez. Everything good? Uh. What kind of answer is that? Your relationship huh. losing steam already? What? Do you think every boy and girl who hang out together are dating? I know you're old, Dr. Kakeru, but really? Get off my back. I'm still in my early 30s. Are you? 
Your cluttered desk looks more like a toddler's. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. That wasn't a compliment. Ugh, if only Dr. Shiro Neko were here. Haven't you heard the saying, out of sight, out of mind? Leave things be, and you'll always know where they are. That's not even how that idiom works. People tidy things up for convenience. Incidentally, Vice President, did you know Dr. Kakeru's wristwatch has a dead battery? No. Yep, it's been 11.45 p.m. for the past 10 years. Phone's good enough for telling time these days. People only ever wear watches for fashion now. What are you so proud of? In what world is a beat up old watch like yours fashionable? <laughs> Your slacker attitude makes some people worry about the quality of care here, you know. Well, that's rude of them. I know how to be in the right place at the right time. When I need to. If something needs doing, I'm gonna do it right. Ah, I can't do half the stuff I want to anymore with this rickety old body. So bored. You seem kind of pale. Let me take a look at you. You're good to go. Don't push yourself too hard. I'm looking for the Ah. Huh? The basement. No, no one.
Where's Where's me? Where's me though? Good morning. Nice weather today, huh? You mean? do without me what would you huh who are you uh. not a chance I'm not leaving her oh my God. I made a promise and if you get in my way I'll make you regret it well, let's oh, just head back for now vice president we have no idea what she's capable of right now. I have to wonder what this promise of hers is, though. Oh, Mew. You're hopeless on your own. Where's Mew? weather today, huh? Would you ever do with... Huh? Who are you? What do you want? What? What are you talking about? I get it. The mist has sent you both off the rails. Don't talk to me, you unset... Sounds like she thinks that locker is... I wonder where the real Mew is. What would you ever do without me? Take your seat. It's almost time for class. Thank you. 
<laughs> Never a mundane moment with you motley mortals. Good morning. her hand no when did that happen and what's with this locker i don't know it smells awful mew where are you mew i promised i wouldn't let go i was supposed to protect you i'm sorry I guess that means we can keep going. Hmm. It's just like Reyna said. This locker does smell awful. Me too. <laughs> ah! A Money portal to the other world, a trace of the abyss. Oh. That call is what connects to the ideals, oh. little miss. Hmm. I fear this abuse is becoming mundane. I can't even muster the words to complain. <laughs> What's wrong, dear Nozomi? Demon got your tongue? Why? Why what? Why do you keep doing that? Doing what? Jump scare me one more time, I'm gonna lose it! The mist? The other world? I've been hanging on by a thread this entire time! And now my cover's totally blown! Uh. <laughs> Calm down, okay? I'll apologize! 
guys then. I won't just show up out of nowhere again. <laughs> After this, my appearances will all be announced, all right? Apology accepted. Well, VP, come keep yeah. your companion under control. <laughs> happened please including my promise not to surprise you everything except for that <laughs> I've never been good with anything scary people would call me childish and pathetic I've been trying to hide that part of me from you the mist was scary enough with just the two of us but when Vanitas popped out of nowhere, I just... I'm astonished you actually uh, asked to attend. Uh. It's not like I want to be here. But I can't let the vice president put himself in danger all on his own. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. <laughs> deranged is as deranged does. Yeah. We've wandered off topic with that little spiel. As I said, that call connects to an ideal. Oh, Get dude. close enough and you'll pick it up too. Just make sure you're fully prepared when you do. Oh, and don't okay. forget to keep those eyes dry. Will you shut mm. up already? Okay. So we're gonna fight on the other. Oh my god! That's an idea. So that's an ideal. It's beautiful. In a creepy kind of way. I feel like I'm getting cursed just looking at it. Well, the sooner we shatter it, the sooner we can go back. It's technically the ideal of desire. Add reason and will for a trio entire. If voiding the pact is your goal, they're the key. But it won't be so simple to shatter all three. Oh. A monarch would not let their plans go astray. They fiends of their own to keep you at bay. Monarchs, like humans, have much at stake. In the case their ideals shatter and break. And break. What do you mean? Demons subsist off the human ego. That is the way they develop and grow. Ideals give humans the power they need, and demons the ego upon which they feed. Huh? So... If only I could if fight I too. Fight, yeah. You're already able to. For so what, what do you protest? Huh? Imagine gears are nothing more than souls made manifest. Yeah. The will to do so is all that you need. Though it isn't so easy as that, I'll concede. Oh, really? Terminal recall. Searching eight consciousnesses. Analyzing. Adapting, linking, decompressing in magic gear, and process. Can you just say the one? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Ahem. All 
you really needed was my assistance. I'll save the explanations for a more obliging ear. I doubt you'd even grasp the weight of what I'm doing here. This is my power. The manifestation of my will. Um, thanks. But could you... watch where you're staring, please? Where? Now enough with all this senseless prattle! Amuse me with your bloodlust in battle! Sure. Checkmate. Get on 
Go, Nozomi. I'll be your strength. Get ready. I won't 
won't let anyone die. Tempting. I have to stay focused. My power came through there. Now you won't have to fight alone anymore. Even if that was terrifying beyond belief. Ideals, VP, are a fragile matter. The slightest touch will cause it to shatter. I did. paved with despair they hear it in words crafted from the same walking the road to ruin all the while only misery awaits at the end it never changes no matter how many times I tell them or how many times they're shown humans truly are foolish they are witless puerile, and rash 
But if my hands can cover their eyes, if my words can drown out their ears, then at the very least, no one would be hurt. I could create a world free of destruction. This is like persona. Where's that voice coming from? We're know. not getting haunted, are we? Nope. I don't think so. Don't get yourself all tied up in knots. The ideal relayed you the Pact Bearer's thoughts. Oh, I see. That's a relief. Not that those thoughts were particularly pleasant either. In any case, we should keep up the pace and shatter the other ideals. Uh. And, uh, that means heading back sooner rather than later. Please? Huh? me stopping by oh welcome back you too nozomi thanks for looking out for my brother i feel a lot better knowing you're there for him always happy to help i'm really not all that special though your brother's the amazing one here here I come. Huh? Mm. Did someone say something? <laughs> Behold, little girl! The one you should thank duly is none other than yours truly. Yours truly. <laughs> Vanitas? See, this is what happens when you pop out of nowhere. Stop scaring yeah. Chio. Geh? You're the one who's scaring me here. I said I would warn you before I appear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow! He's so soft and fluffy! It's like snuggling up with a cloud! No fair! You never told me Benitas was this cutie wootie adorable! Hey now, you're suffocating the poor thing. A being like me has no need for breath. Lend me your aid from your sister of death. Uh. You, flagitious fiend. <laughs> the little guy sure gets riled up easily, huh? Oh, right. You should know that the mist on the second floor is all gone. Guessing that's your doing. We were able to rescue all the unsettled who were trapped up there, so thanks for that. Alrighty. Guess it's about time I got back to the infirmary. Just stop on by if you're ever feeling under the weather. to do when you graduate, Nozomi? I'm thinking about going to university and working toward a teaching license. Oh. Whoa! You want to be a teacher? Yep. My goal is to work at an elementary school. <sighs> You'd be an amazing teacher, Nozomi. No doubt about it. But why do you want to work at an elementary school specifically? 
My best friend wanted to be a teacher when we were that age. So... I guess I want to be one too. How are you guys? On the next episode.